Right, what we're going to do today is we're going to create a calculator in Python. Okay, so what we're going to do first thing, let's label it as calculator. Okay, if you just put a hash and then you type in whatever you type, it won't be part of your code, you'll be just a, like a comment. Okay, so let's create a variable. And the first variable we're going to create is called, let's, we're going to call it num1, because that's going to be our first number. So we also have to declare it as an integer because we want to use it as a number. So we ask the user to actually enter the first number. Enter first number. Okay. And then we want... Okay, a little bit of space there. Then we want to create a, a second value, a variable. And we want the user to also... It's going to be an integer, obviously. And we want to ask the user to enter the second number. So the second number goes into num2. So now what we want to do, so we got the num, num1 and num2. Now what we want to do, we want to ask the user, what do you want to do with these two value? Okay, so let's have create a variable called choice. So let the user make a choice. So this can be just a simple variable. Okay, it doesn't have to be an integer because it can be a character. And we're going to ask the user, do you want to add this number or do you want to uh, subtract this number? Okay, so the plus four addition or if you want to do subtract, then you obviously you have to enter the minus sign. Okay, a little bit of space there. Okay, so now what we want to do, if the choice, okay, if choice, the variable choice equals a plus sign, okay, if he wants to add the two number, then what we need to do, okay, we need to create a, a variable okay called called total or something like that and add the two number and place the total value inside this variable so let's create a variable called total equals num1 plus num2 so it will add the num1 and num2 and whatever the value is it will actually go inside the variable total okay so num1 add num2 whatever the value is it actually goes into the variable total okay Okay, so what let, let what happens if you actually choose something different? Let's do else if choice equals okay minus. Suppose the user actually enters minus. So what should we do? So we want to do the same thing, but obviously this time it's going to be the minus sign instead of the plus sign. So let's do the same thing again. Let's have put the total is equal to num one minus num two. So this time, obviously, if the user makes this choice, it will subtract instead of add. Okay, so what we can do, uh, so now simply what we can do, we can just print the answer. Okay, just, we can just type in, we can actually display the total, the variable total. We can use the total to actually display the actual value. Okay, le okay so let's see, let's have a, let's run the program, see if it actually works. Okay, let's run it. Okay, it's working. It doesn't. Okay, the first number. Let's enter the first number. So let's type in twenty. Okay, and the second number. Let's type in five. Okay, and you can see <coughs> the choice has come up. So I just make a little bit of adjustments here. Okay, so suppose the user actually want to uh, add the two number. Okay, then what we need to do is choose. A, user has to choose the plus sign. Okay, so let's try and do the plus sign. So you can see if you put plus sign that you get the value of 25, which means the num1 and num2 is actually added together and the value of 25 goes into the variable total and the total variable total is been displayed. Okay, so now let's try the other option. So run the program again. Okay, the second option. So enter the first number, let's do 20. And the second number, uh, we do 5. And this time, what we're going to do, we're going to we ch use choice, the minus choice. And you can see, if you press enter, you get 20 minus 5, you get 15, which means the program, it does, it actually works.